is Edith Baker. I am 22 years old. I was born and raised right here in Saline County. Yes, sexual content should be kept away from children. No one here is against that. But many of these books being challenged are not sexual. Many of these books deal with homosexuality or racism. One was about two worms getting married. I will repeat that, worms. The concern we have isn't that sexual books will be moved, but that this resolution will open the door for those who wish to push their, their political beliefs and censor the marginalized members of the community. I am a queer woman, and if I was old enough to experience homophobia, then children should be old enough to read about it. This isn't about left versus right, gay versus straight, and I am sick and tired of it. everything leading back to that. This is a systematic approach to taking away individual freedom in the name of freedom. This isn't about freedom at all, it is about control, and we need to get our act together and stop acting like this is everyone's fault but our own. This is Arkansas, and we are Arkansas. We are at the bottom of just about every national list. Highest in teen pregnancy, 47th in education, and fifth in poverty. If someone has, if someone was going to step in and save us, they'd have done it by now. No one outside of the state even knows where Saline County is, let alone care about it. We are all alone. We are all we have, and they know it too. This isn't fear-mongering, this is realism, and we can't keep sticking our head in the sand and hoping it goes away. This isn't happening in Washington, D.C. This isn't happening far away across the ocean. This is right here at our doorstep, and it is our job to stop it there. We have to, make, we have to speak up and make sure that the cries of our anger can't be drowned out. And if they, can't, if they won't listen to us, we vote. We email, and we call nonstop. I want to read a quote by Lyndon B. Johnson. What convinces is conviction. Believe in the argument you are advancing. If you don't, you're as good as dead. The other person will sense that something isn't there, and no chain of reasoning, no matter how logic or elegant or brilliant, will win you your case. I'm done. Thank you, Ms. Baker. Next, David Gibson speaking for.